Tuesday. I've just come to the house for an impromptu meeting with the builder. He's just downstairs. But I thought I'd show you some of the progress. It really, really stinks in here. So bad. But they've prepared this front bedroom ready to plaster, as you can see. And that Artex ceiling has gone. I'm so happy about this, you guys don't understand. This is the room with my reading nook. As you can see, the ceiling light has been centralized. And my reading nook actually sticks out quite far. Whoa. So there we go. They've also filled up all these um, floorboards that were missing. All the gaps in the floor, which is great. And then, this is like their dumping ground, so. The chimney breast has gone. It's amazing. So, so happy with that. It really opens the space up. It's just incredible what a difference it makes just having it gone because obviously now it means we can have our bed flush against that wall and it'll be perfect as you can see whoa it's so dusty in here i think i said in my last video that we decided to go ahead and renovate the bathroom so they haven't started on this yet and they won't be for a couple of weeks which is quite good and then moving the light switch for that out here i'll take you downstairs and give you a look so in my hallway, and look, the partition for the toilet has finally gone up, which is great. Good morning, happy Thursday. I've got a very busy day today. I am just getting ready. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> I have to go to the bank to withdraw some money. I've cleared to Boots because I went a couple of weeks ago, accidentally bought conditioner instead of shampoo, which is so annoying. So I need to go and exchange that. Hopefully they'll do it. I don't know how that works. And then, then I need to come home um, because I'll have the money from the bank. Make a few phone calls, I need to like call a kitchen fitter to get a quote, then probably have some lunch, then head straight to the house for a meeting with the builder and to give him the money, and then I need to come home, and I've got a list of a few things I need to do, and then at 6.40 I have my second Covid vaccine which is very exciting, and they might give Jas his first one at the same time if they have any leftovers. So that is really good news. We are very happy with that. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible. By the way, that is our mattress oh, on the floor. We still haven't had a chance to put our bed up. And now we're like, can we live with it? Like sleeping on the floor for a month? Probably. So we might just do that because oh, it's just so time consuming. And we'll just have to put the bed up and then dismantle the bed when we move anyway so for now we're sleeping on the floor like hippies it's actually not that bad i don't, don't mind sleeping on the floor it's just the waking up in the mornings it's just so such a struggle trying to get out of bed um when you're this close to the ground <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go because i think shops are now open i was ready like really early i was trying to call people shops hadn't opened i was trying to make phone calls other people weren't answering and the bank doesn't open till 10 and now it is 9 15 or something i need to go to boots first so i'll do that in the bank and um i'll try and take you with me i always say this but <sighs> it's a struggle i always forget i'm losing my mind renovating is hard i am thinking about shower trays when i go to bed i wake up thinking about grout i spend my afternoons looking for taps like this is just constantly i feel like i have about 600 tabs open in my brain constantly all the time but having said that i'm so gonna miss it when it's all over i just love a little project i love having like t like loads of things to do and complaining about being super busy and super stressed <laughs> that's just the kind of person i am but anyway i'm gonna make a move and go to the bank first oh my god i'm so tired it's very sunny and i think my neighbors can see me but i just went home for some lunch after going to the bank and to a few shops and now i'm off to the house to go meet the builders and it's very annoying i always leave it till like 2 2 30 so i get stuck in like school traffic 
either way and then rush hour on the way back so yeah hopefully i won't be at the house with the builders for too long and i managed to miss the traffic but i can see it building up already i'm so tired today already i just cannot cope with all of this there's so much to do i'm just not sleeping very well at the moment but i'll drop off the money and see if he needs to show me anything and then come home do a bit more googling and go for my covid vaccine Woohoo! these were some of the tiles that we picked up yesterday but you can't actually see them because <laughs> the builders are using them as a shelf there's some adhesive and here we go the partition for the toilet is up and that's where the door's going to go and then on this side they've taken this wall back but I think they can take it back a little bit further which basically means there our kitchen island can be a bit longer so that is really good news look at how high the ceiling's going to be in our toilet <laughs> it's so high it's amazing the builder did say he could lower it because it's ridiculously high but I was like no no such thing as a ceiling that's too high although don't quote me on this because obviously once we move in and it comes to cleaning cobwebs up there that would be a nightmare for me but yeah, I'm very happy with this progress morning it's very early on a Sunday no it's Saturday today right yes Saturday morning Jas and I've just come to Park Royal we're gonna look for radiator valves CCTV possibly tiles all that fun stuff because this week is all about the shopping um it's really early in the morning actually i've been up since like 5 30 i am not sleeping well at the moment but first stop is mr central heating this company is very popular on instagram i did a lot of research into radiators and theirs seem to be the most affordable and they do really nice valves but unfortunately they're not going to work with the style of radiators that we want the way that we're going to have the pipes or whatever but i've just come to have a look anyway because i just like seeing things in person rather than shopping online all the time and seeing as we're in the area we're gonna go in here first so i'm probably not gonna vlog because it's just a bit weird isn't it like in a little trade shop <laughs> but i'll show you what we pick up if we do buy anything yeah how much are these ones again oh yeah we just bought our radiator valves that was so quick and easy I'm a bit worried that they're gloss, but I think hopefully these are the right ones. If not, I will be coming back to return them. But they are a lot more affordable than online or on eBay, in fact, as well. Guys, look at this. This is such a beautiful colour. I love this colour so much. Do you like it, Jess? Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's very expensive. It's more than double what I wanted to pay. Damn it. We just popped into a tile place next door and now I'm regretting all my life choices. Oh my god, this man is actually letting me cross the road. This is so embarrassing. Because I've already bought my tiles, but I found some really nice ones and now I'm like debating returning the other one. I'm also going to another tile place. Oh god, why do I do this to myself, Jas? Why? I'm losing my mind over grout. I'm trying to buy an expensive one because I've heard the cheap one crumbles and dries. I'm really struggling to decide between these two colours because I've heard that the cheap one dries a lot paler. It's a nightmare. I think I prefer the darker one, don't you Jess? Yeah, so, both nice. two bags of the darker one? Yeah, they're both nice, let's go for that one. Yeah, number 11. Because that's kind of what I'll tell you Yeah, actually two bags of number 11. <sighs> oh, it's so windy. Can I just say, I'm an embarrassment to my own life. We literally just brought some grout and me and Jack stood outside the shop doing a little photo shoot of me holding the grout because I've just realised that when I'm uploading all my renovation videos I have no thumbnails or Instagram images so I'm just trying to take like real life ones and I bought some grout from a place called um, Tile Superstore. We just walked in and they had 
the more expensive route that everyone keeps telling us to buy, which wasn't that much more expensive, a couple of quid. But um one for this colour. Should have this one in. <laughs> What's the brand called? I don't know. Caracol colour 11. There's a lot of deliberation. I think all people just get pissed off at me actually in trade places because they're just used to dealing with builders and just <laughs> men that don't really give a shit about <laughs> finer details and I'm just there for ages going, oh well what shade is this in different lights? Anyway, we're now off to CCTV both. It's been a very productive morning. Oh, I turn up the car, right? I can't believe it's like 3.30 p.m. I look so tired, don't I? Um, we've just stopped to get a Starbucks on our way to the house now. We've just been out all day. We haven't been home yet. We're going to the house now to go meet the builder and the electrician. And we picked them up some ice lollies because it is really hot. It's like 17 degrees. Actually, we've got them on Lovely the floor. Weather. They're going to melt on my, um, on my knees. <sighs> I've just got such a banging headache. It's so hot and I feel very dehydrated because obviously I can't pee anywhere so <laughs> I've been like dehydrating myself on purpose and not drinking loads of water. But we picked up a nice coffee for ourselves and now we're going to the house and by the way yesterday was a big day. One of the biggest days in the renovation so far. They removed the whole of the back wall of the house. We weren't allowed in there from Thursday night up until now I think we're allowed in and I cannot wait to see what the house looks like. I'm so excited. You don't understand. This is just, it's just gonna be so different, isn't it? Yeah. I'll really be able to see like exactly where my island will go and just picture the space, how we're actually going to use it because it's very hard to picture these things if you're somebody like me who's never done something like this before. <laughs> Yes, good. I've just had a delivery at the house. I think these are some tile samples that I ordered. Oh god. Oh, I love this colour. I don't really like the pink. I've already decided that I don't like this one actually. Wasn't really a fan of this. I really liked it at first, but not in person. Where's the actual one I wanted? Okay, so maybe I just got three, I can't really remember. Three? Oh, I parked across the road just over there. Okay, yeah. It's called custard. I'm so happy with that. They meant to send me a cut sample, but for some reason they sent me a whole one. Don't drop it, Jess. That's my <laughs> extras. Because that's the colour we're actually going to go with. But. That's quite nice. Well, there's no one in here. Let me just quickly show you. So. Look at this. The whole wall has actually gone. It looks insane. So that's the steel that's holding up the wall. They've got these supports because it hasn't been welded yet. But that's the RSJ and the whole wall has gone. It looks absolutely insane. This whole space has completely opened up. I obviously need to fill these. And this here. You can literally see all the way out the front door here. So funny. This is how much of the wall is staying behind the toilet. That's the partition for the toilet where it will end. But this bit is just for privacy because the actual toilet will be just behind here. And you only see this much of the door when it opens this way. So you won't actually see inside the toilet apart from the back wall a little bit. So I think that's a really good idea. And taking this wall as far back as possible means but here, along the length of this, we can have a longer kitchen island. Maybe not even a longer one, I think we're just going to have the same one, but move it a bit further this way, so there's more space to walk around it. Around here, so I'm very happy with this. I cannot tell you how happy I am with this tile colour. I was in two minds about it last week, but I'm so glad they've sent me a full size sample because it really makes a difference to the little cut samples. They actually are meant to charge you for this, about three or four pounds, depending on how much each tile costs, but they must have just known I was going to go for it. So they've sent me a full size one. I'm very happy with that, actually. I love the colour of plaster. <laughs> yeah, really smooth, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is good. This is why everyone goes for that paint Plaster, right? Yeah. Such a nice colour. Very smooth, look at that. 
Incluso el ejército está en una realidad siempre. Bueno, ya es diferente. Pensaba que estaba bueno. My God, we are pooped. Mm. It is, what time is it? 6.20 p.m. And what a day. We left the house at about 8.30 this morning and we've literally just got home. It's so hot out there, we're very tired, but I thought I'd just end this vlog here. I'm not sure that I'm going back to the house tomorrow, Jas is, to strip the last of the wallpaper while I basically shop for shower trays, shower screens, taps, all that fun stuff and we also have a guy from Wren Kitchens coming out to measure the space now that the whole of the back wall of the house is gone I was kind of vlogging around the builders so you would have seen some clips of that earlier but oh my god it looks amazing doesn't it yeah, it's it really opened the space up we're so happy with it our builders are so nice aren't they mm, yeah definitely. they really like the ice lollies that we took around for them they really appreciated it because it was a really hot day and we must have been there for about two hours just chatting to them right mm. the builder and the electrician and yeah they're just very funny people but now <sighs> i need a break i just want to sit there take my contacts out take my makeup off have a little break and then go back to looking for bathroom furniture so i'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching i will see you next week for renovation week six i think wow jesus six wow. Yeah, God, time is ticking by so quickly. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.